Hello everyone, this is Professor Archana Kadam from JSPM Nare Technical Campus, Pune. In this video, we are going to discuss production of rotating magnetic flux. For the production of rotating magnetic flux, we know that we require three phase AC supply. Now, first of all, we will discuss how three phase AC supply get generated. For that, we require to study Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Now, what is the statement of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction? Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction states that whenever current carrying conductor placed in change in magnetic field, EMF get induces in that conductor. Now, if we consider two magnetic poles, in between the two magnetic pole, if we put one conductor, because there is a magnetic flux lines present, if we put one conductor that is considered red conductor we have placed in between that magnetic poles and if we keep that conductor rotating then EMF get induces in that conductor because EMF is directly proportional to magnetic flux as per Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Now let ER is the EMF induces in that conductor. If we plot waveform of that EMF, that waveform is starting from the zero point. Now, if we plot resultant phasor of this EMF, it will be coinciding ER. It is coinciding with x axis with the magnitude of ER. Now, this is about first conductor. Now, we are having only one magnitude. We require three phase AC supply, so we will consider one more conductor that is yellow in color. It is placed 120 degree lagging from the first conductor, means from the red conductor, yellow conductor is lagging behind by an angle 120 degree. Now, keep this conductor also rotating. At that time, EMF will get induces in this yellow conductor too. Let this induced EMF is EY. Now, if we plot waveform of this EY, it will start at an angle of 120 degree lagging from the ER because we have placed this conductor 120 degree lagging from the ER. Now, if we plot resultant phasor of this ER, it will be lagging from the ER. It will be lagging from the ER by an angle 120 degree. We require three phase, so we have to consider one more conductor that is now we will consider blue conductor that is third conductor. It will place again 120 degree apart from the y axis or y conductor and 240 degree apart from the red conductor. If we place this blue conductor and if we keep this blue conductor rotating, again third EMF will get induced in the blue conductor that is EB. If we plot waveform of this, it is starting at 240 degree from ER and 120 degree from EY lagging, right? Now, if we plot, if we plot EB resultant phasor of EB, then ER, EY and EB all three phasors are apart from each other by an angle 120 degree we will get. So, we got three waveforms of EMFs means we got three voltages. As we have three voltages means we have three currents that is IR, IY and IB. That is what our requirement for the production of three phase magnetic flux because we know that if current is flowing through any coil, if current is flowing through any coil, flux get generated. That is the electromagnetism, the concept of electromagnetic magnetism. According to this, we get phi r, phi y and phi b, these are three fluxes, right? Now, whatever fluxes we get, those are also apart from each other by angle 120 degree because we have placed our conductors at an angle of 120 degree, right? Now, we have three fluxes and if we plot phasor of this three fluxes, we get this phi r, phi y and phi b apart from each other 120 degree. Now, we have to check, now we have to check the nature of these fluxes. See, as uh, we are saying this is nothing but rotating magnetic flux, right? So, we have to check. For that, we 
consider the waveform and phasor of flux. On this flux waveform, we will consider a different instance and at different instance, we will check the flux. Now, first of all, we will consider first instant. At first instant, we will check what is the magnitude of phi r, phi y and phi b. See, what is resultant flux? Resultant flux is nothing but phi r plus phi y plus phi b. But this is not arithmetic addition. This is the phasor addition, right? This is not arithmetic addition. Now, we have to plot a phasor, we have to consider the phasor and we have to plot its resultant by plotting the parallelogram. So, at first instant, we can see that value of phi r is 0, phi y is at its negative position, phi b is at its positive position. So, we can see that phi r is 0, phi y is negative and phi b is positive. Now, we have to do phi r plus phi y plus phi b, but in the form of phasor addition. Now, consider the original phasor, consider the original phasor and we can remove phi r from this because phi r, magnitude of phi r is 0. So, what is left? minus phi y and sorry phi y and phi b. Now, phi y we require negative. Now, how to plot negative phi y? This whatever original phasor is as far as original phasor is concerned phi y is positive phi y, present phi y is. Now, we have to plot negative phi y. So, we have to extend our phasor in its opposite direction. So, by extending phi y in opposite direction will get minus phi y and if we plot parallelogram of this resultant of this parallelogram represents the resultant flux. So, here we will get resultant flux for the instant number 1. Now, we will consider second instant and we will check again nature of phi r, phi y and phi b. For second instant, we can see that now phi b is 0, phi y is negative and phi r is positive, right. Now, we have to do addition of phi r, phi y and phi b. Again consider original phasor, At or from the original phasor remove phi b because phi b is 0, phi y is minus phi y again. So, again extend it in opposite direction and keep phi r as it is. What is the resultant of this? Resultant of this parallelogram is nothing but the resultant flux. Now, we can see that this resultant flux is from position first it is get inclined, it is get inclined in clockwise direction. Now, consider third instant for instant number 3 again check phi r phi y phi b. Now, phi y is 0, phi b is negative and phi b uh, phi r is as it is positive. Now, again plot its phasor remove phi y plot phi b in neg negative direction. So, it will be in this way. So, what is the resultant? Again resultant get inclined from the instant number 2. So, whatever resultants we are getting from instant number 1, 2, 3 resultant flux is getting inclined and inclined for each instant. If we consider more instants, we can see that or we can come to know that the resultant flux is continually, continuously getting inclined in 360 degree angle. So, we can conclude that resultant flux that is phi r plus phi y plus phi b that is phasor addition of this is continuously rotating one. So, we can say that we are having rotating magnetic flux if we supply three phase AC to three coils connected in star or delta. So, from this session we can conclude that summation of phi r, phi y and phi b is equal to we can see the resultant of this flux magnitude of resultant of this flux is 1.5 times of maximum flux. So, from this session we have learned how to generate rotating magnetic flux.